If the Australian dream of owning your own home seems further and further out of reach, spare a thought for the 104,000 homeless in this country. In fact, over 16,000 people slept outside last night and 315 new homeless people are turned away from shelters daily. The waiting list for public housing is 16 years. For people at extreme risk, waiting time is 12 to 18 months. For a problem that seems too big to fix, one company is doing their best to help and has roped in comedian, TV personality and all-round shy and demure wallflower Julia Morris to spread the message. I think you should get involved. <laughs> Please welcome Julia Morris. Frightening. So 16 years the wait for public housing, 16,000 people sleeping outside, that's just astounding. I just can't even believe that it's going on in Australia. As I go to the canteen at my child's school and order sushi for her lunch, that <laughs> 16,000 people are street sleeping homeless in Australia and sleeping without a bed. And I, there, there's an amazing man named Tony Clark who's invented this incredible uh, lightweight backpack bed. And they're $68 each, right? So of those 16,000 people, it would be $2.1 million to give every single person who's turned away from a refuge a bed for the night. And I said to him, with the mental health and financial problems and whatever else puts people onto the street, if you could make it through the day without topping yourself, do you not deserve a little bed to lie in, mm. pop yeah. your head in a little mm. pillow and give it a bit of good night, Irene? Like, it's, <laughs> is it not the least you can ask at the end of the day? I love my bed. I'm, I've got a huge love affair with my bed and it's the location of a lot of very special times. And <laughs> I just figure, you know, you deserve a place to lie down at the end of the day. Mm. And, um, and sushi at the canteen. <laughs> How obscene, How obscene sorry, is it? Sorry, I should have listened to all the other facts you said, but that was the one that stuck in my head. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're a good fundraiser. You're always raising money for good causes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I can't even speak about down. crispy duck risotto Wednesday. <laughs> 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 but I'm giving uh, back, guys. Come so on. Well. Thanks, so <laughs> Uh, no, it is. It's a disgrace. How are that, that many people homeless in our country, our lucky country that we just love and snuggle up to it's daily? It's not just the homeless that you raise money for. You've raised money for bosoms in the I'm past. You do a lot of bosoms. <laughs> a lot of bosom work with your JMO fest. Lift and separate. <laughs> <laughs> is that a slogan of your... Of your I'm not sure that what, it is. What is your breast... Charity that and is so left the, and separate across the, the nation. What's the? <laughs> I'm not sure that that, that is their actual byline. Um, it's the National Breast Cancer Foundation who funnel money through research so that by 2030 we won't have uh, any woman dying as breast cancer as her a primary cancer, mm. which will be awesome. And we'll stop wasting time at the hospital trying to get better. So that would be... Mm. Well, you've been, you've been very selfless so far. Let's get oh. selfish for a minute. You do have a tour coming up. It's called No Judgment. I and know. I, and I heard that name and I thought, that's not the JMO I know. <laughs> you know who I know? For the last 12 months, I've decided that I'm really going to try and stop judging people because, oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it and it's everyone and no one escapes. And I don't mean it in a yucky way, but like, oh, doll. And... Um, <laughs> So I've had to really retrain myself and try not to put that onto my two little women, my two little girls, because I just don't want to be standing around going, oh, doll, what, what dress is she wearing? I don't understand it. <laughs> so, Do they judge you? Do, oh, the has girls. it rubbed off? Yeah. <sighs> Non-stop. <laughs> you made the bed, you know, the five-year-old's all really? I don't think so. And the three-year-old is, you know, I mean, dancing at a club, to be fair, she's a wild person. So, uh, <laughs> oh, a friend of mine said recently, how do you feel about a, um, another person on the planet who's about to go through as much fun as you've just had? I said, oh, it's, it's not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can head to our website to find out all about swags for the homeless and also uh, details for Julia's show. No dollars is nothing. Do you know what? When I'm on tour, I'm going to donate 50 price. of the backpack beds um, to Swags for the Homeless. 50 of them are going to go out of my ticket sales. I, just, I talked about it with Dan today. I said it has to be done. And that's 50 people who are going to have a bed. Are you serious? That's Everyone great. go and buy one. I'm going to encourage all of my people who buy my seats to my um, shows to do the same. Go and buy one. Wonderful. All the details are on the website. Please thank Julia Morris. <laughs>